Hello, this is Ben Loftus from Harrison Consoles, and I'm going to do a demonstration about using the sidechain input features of our Mixbus compressors to answer a question that was posted on Mixcoach.com. The uh, poster asked about setting up a sidechain compressor as a ducker to duck the signal of, a, of an effect uh, under the lead vocal. So I've tried to set up uh, a, a, a recreation of that kind of setup and uh, I'm using a track, a raw vocal track from my friend Drew Rubel and it's a song that he wrote called Sorry I and we've set up our lead vocal track uh, it's called Vox, this is my mixer strip for the Vox track you see that it's assigned to the master bus, that's this blue indicator so that means the, draw, the dry signal will go directly to the master bus it's also sending to Mixbus 2, which is my reverb send, and it's sending to Mixbus 3, which is the delay send. On Mixbus 3, uh, I've got a free plugin called Dub Delay inserted, and you can see the settings for the dub delay. I can adjust the settings here if I want to, right in the mixer strip. And I've got my compressor and the level for the return from that delay. So let's roll through quickly with, with the compressor turned off, the delay on full blast, and let's see what we don't want to hear. Your kind of Your loving kind of love. has got me wondering, got me wondering. Why, did you why did you wrong? Sorry, I. Now, all we really want for the purposes of this demonstration is to hear the echoes from Sorry, I fading out. Now we could automate the send to the delay, we can automate the fader of the delay, we can do all kinds of things manually to drop that out, but a quick way to get through an entire song uh, is called ducking. And this technique means that you turn on your compressor and instead of compressing the signal that's coming out of the delay, we want to compress the delay based on the raw vocal track. So I'm going to turn on my sidechain feed. And now we have to choose where that sidechain feed is going to come from. So I go to the SC button at the top of my strip, and it, the, the tooltip says click to choose sidechain inputs. So I'm going to click that. I'm going to choose edit. And it pops open our sidechain uh, audio input output dialog. Uh, you see that this dialog allows you to do all kinds of cool things. I could I could feed my side chain from my sound card inputs. I could feed it from the master bus out, but we're going to feed it from our master vocal. So I'm going to click on Vox slash out, and you notice that that assigned it into the input one. Well, this is a stereo mix bus that so has two inputs. The Vox is a is a mono track, so it only has one output. So we're going to assign that same same output to both inputs of our side chain. So I did that by clicking it, single clicking. I can single click to remove either of these routings. So this dialog takes a little bit, it's a little tricky to learn, but it's um, actually very quick and easy. You single click to add and remove things from your routing. So now we're all set up. We've got our side chain turned on. I'm going to roll through some of this track and I'm going to lower the compressor threshold as we go so we can hear the delays drop out. Okay, here we go. Your kind of Your loving kind of has got me wondering why did you wrong? I'm sorry, I. I'm sorry, I made you cry. Oh, sorry, I. So uh, whether that's artistically what you want or not, you may find that some different delay settings, maybe a different level on the delay, maybe a different uh, release time on the compressor. I'm using a uh, slow release so that it doesn't come in too uh, dramatically. It, it fades in a little bit. Let's roll through again real quickly with the compressor off to hear what it sounds like without the ducking. Your kind of Your kind of has got me wondering why. So you can hear how it's just stomping all over the lead vocal. Now let's turn the compressor on with the sidechain feed and try again. Your kind of loving has got me wondering why, why. So the delay may still be a little bit loud, 
and we could turn it down a little bit, but the but there's a dramatic difference between the non-duct signal and the duct signal. And Mixbus allows you to do that with the plugins, with the uh, compressor and sidechain feeds that we have built in.